Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Monday, October 11th, 2010. Here are today's top stories. ABC opted to move its new drama series, Body of Proof, starring Dana Delaney, to mid-season. NBC is continuing its Run for the Roses partnership with the Kentucky Derby horse race for five more years. Last year's race attracted 16.5 million total viewers, making it the most watched derby in 21 years. ABC Family gave a back order of additional episodes to its comedy series, Melissa and Joey, which airs Tuesdays at 8 p.m. And Ryan Seacrest is talking with talent agency CAA and entertainment company AEG about the possibility of jointly launching a new cable network. The proposed channel would focus on music, pop culture, and lifestyle. USA Network is looking ahead and will debut the new series, Fairly Legal, a.k.a. Facing Kate, on January 20th at 10 p.m., Fairly Legal stars Sarah Shahi as a top litigator who leaves her law career to become a mediator. And True TV approved a third season of its original series, All Worked Up, and additionally okayed a spin off series called Lizard Lick Towing. Beginning tonight at 9 p.m., Sundance Channel is airing its first scripted original series, Carlos starring Edgar Ramirez. The miniseries is considered the definitive profile of the terrorist known as Carlos the Jackal. And Universal Sports is airing its first ever Adventure Week, chock full of adventure sports of programming beginning tonight at 8 p.m. and running for six hours each night in prime time through this Sunday. Bravo concluded its first season of The Real Housewives of D.C. last Thursday with a season average of 1.36 million total viewers. Furthermore, Bravo will air a two-part The Real Housewives of D.C. reunion special on October 14th and the 21st, both beginning at 9 p.m. each night. And some post-MIPCOM 2010 news. Globo TV International made a programming agreement with Cello Zone to broadcast on CCTV, the national TV network in the People's Republic of China. Last Friday, Scripps Networks International launched the new high-def channel Food Network Asia in the Philippines via direct-to-home satellite service Cigna Digital TV. And ABC Family approved four new pilots. It's an untitled Brenda Hampton project. The Great State of Georgia, What Would Jane Do, and The Lion Game. ABC News moved Dan Harris into the co-anchor position of the weekend edition of Good Morning America. Harris began his new position this past Saturday. Catherine Irby is back on USA Network's Law & Order Criminal Intent. For the series' 10th and final season, Irby will be joining her on-air partner, Vincent D'Onofrio, for its 10th season. Lisa Oz, wife of Dr. Oz, is involved in a daytime talk show pilot with Sony Pictures Television. The new show will likely concentrate on helping rocky relationships. ABC is working on a single-camera family comedy titled Suburgatory, about a teenage girl who moves from the big city to her version of hell, the suburbs, cites THR. NBC picked up a show project titled Echelon that was inspired by the controversial U.S. electronic eavesdropping equipment that supposedly captures all data signals for analysis at a central location in West Virginia, per THR. And that's a wrap for this Columbus Day. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with with new classified ads and some new executive moves and some more ratings. Don't forget to check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production and along with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahonic. I'm going to have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.